here we are back again this week in Kim's RV Kitchen at RV Adventure TV. Today we're making a chicken dish that's just a Greek chicken and garlic with Parmesan cheese and we're going to bake it in the oven. two chicken breasts that I've already um, washed and I have them in the plate and I'm going to put some salt and pepper on these and while I'm doing this in this bowl right here I have got three-fourths of a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt plain I have a half a cup of Parmesan cheese grated I have a tablespoon of garlic in here and I have the zest of one lemon in here also and I stir this up and just put it in the refrigerator let it sit and kind of mesh together while I'm doing this. So we're going to put a little bit of red pepper flake and I put the salt on there. Salt both sides. Some red pepper on both. Just a little bit because Daryl will have a fit. <laughs> He's not a big spice fan. Okay, and then I'm going to take these after I turn them back over. Put the salt stain on there. I'm going to put some pepper on the side. Then it just said to cover your chicken breast with the Greek yogurt and get your hands in it, they said. So I'm going to put this in here and get my hands in it. I'm not too sure about this, y'all. They say it's good. I always read all the reviews when I when I do cook something that I never have cooked before. And there was like 200 reviews saying that this is really good. That it, the Greek yogurt keeps your chicken very moist. So we're going to give it a shot. And if it's not any good, then we know that we won't do it again. And I really think for two chicken breasts, you really could have cut that in half, too, to be honest with you. And then we're going to put this in the oven, and we're going to bake this for 40 minutes on 375. And after it's through, I will come back with you and show you what it looks like. Hey, y'all, while I'm waiting on my oven and everything, I'm going to go ahead and saute up some mushrooms. And I found a recipe that's really, really good that I want to try. So it's a pound of mushrooms, and in here I have two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of butter and to that I'm going to add my mushrooms without spilling them okay. and to that I'm going to let this cook for about five minutes, and then I'm going to come back and add the seasoning and let it simmer all down. Hey, y'all, while this, while my oven's preheating for my chicken, I'm going to go ahead. I have some mushrooms, so I put two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of butter in here, and I put about a pound of mushrooms. And to that, I'm going to add me a tablespoon of teriyaki. And on the reviews that I read on here, they said that you also could use Worcestershire instead of the teriyaki. And you can use red wine, cooking red wine, instead of red wine vinegar if you want to. I'm just going to use the red wine vinegar. And that is um, a tablespoon of that also. And to that, we're just going to add some seasoning. It calls for some garlic powder. It calls for garlic salt, but I figured that my teriyaki's got a lot of salt in it, so I don't want to add any more, so I'm just going to use the garlic powder. Okay. 
and it has salt and pepper. to do it this way, but I've always been taught that you don't put the salt and pepper in your mushrooms, but maybe I'm wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and put it like this and let these cook down for five minutes and I'm going to come back to you and show you. It really smells good though. Okay, y'all, we're back. We have now sauteed the mushrooms and I forgot to tell you, I don't know why I do this with y'all all the time, but I forgot to I put a little bit of minced garlic in there too from the refrigerator. I just stuck some about a clove of minced garlic, about a half a teaspoon in here when I sauteed these. And I taste them and they really are good. And here is the chicken that I did. It really, it smells good. It looks pretty good. So we're going to give it a shot and see how it looks. Let's see. We're trying to stick to this diet. We're doing good. Daryl's doing better. <laughs> but you know what they say, men always lose weight faster than us, women. So this is what is for dinner tonight. It looks pretty good. So we'll let you know exactly how this was after we try it. And don't forget, like, comment, subscribe thumbs up and make sure that you go to our Facebook RV Adventure TV and RVAdventureTV.com. Y'all have a great day. Bye y'all.